Okay, guys, thank you for uh, joining me in another episode of uh, Random Joe. Today I got two surf rods out, and I'm fishing at Calaveras Lake just south of San Antonio. And um, we're bottom fishing for catfish or redfish. This is one of the fewest few lakes in Texas that have freshwater redfish, and these redfish grow big. The reason for that is there, it's cooled by a this, this actually, this water is kept warm by that flower plant right over there. So it, it generates a lot of bait fish uh, year round because of that. The water temperature stays pretty consistent when that plant is running. Uh, it's a cold plant, it's for electricity. Um, right now I have two surf rods out and I'm fishing for whatever bites right now. I haven't caught a fish in a long time. I went bass fishing, got skunked. But today, hopefully, it turns around for me, and it's temperature is about 70, 71. It's going to stay like that the rest of the day. The water temperature is around the same. Um, like I said, this water does not cool hardly anything because of that power plant right over there, and that keeps the water temperature pretty pretty high uh, for this time of year or or in or year round. You can come during the winter. And that power plant will heat up this entire lake and you know it produces a lot of bait fish a lot of tilapia a lot of shad i mean you're talking about you know eight inch shad and the redfish are fat on them you know they're just there's not a decline in, in bait fish you know there's a lot of bait fish in this in this lake it's about i want to say 300 acres maybe more i could be wrong um, i'd have to you'd have to google that but it's calaveras lake just outside san antonio texas um, there's another power plant on the other side which also produces power for san antonio it's called browning lake if you guys want to look that up i've caught plenty of redfish there that's another spot for freshwater redfish and this is a lake this isn't this is no way attached to the gulf or to any ocean water so I'll get back with you when I hook up with one. Hopefully I don't forget to turn the camera. All right, guys. I got a redfish. There he is. Oh, he took it all the way down. Look at that, guys. And here's a little, little awkward from the tail. I don't know what that is. Wow, let's get this hooked out. All right. Today it's all catch and release. I'm not. I don't feel like playing anything today, so let's get her back in the water. Alright. It's been about 30 minutes since I turned the camera off. It's looking way down here. Okay, got one on. Good one, guys. Good one. Good one. It's a good one. I got two on at once. This is epic. This is great. I got two fish on at once. I got two fish on at once. 
I got two fish on at once. I'm cranking on one, cranking on the other. I'm gonna get both these in. I'm getting both these fish in. Check this out. This is epic, guys. I got two, ro two rods, two surf rods going at the same time. It pays off when you lose fish. Fish gods in return pay you, pay you back. This is awesome. I'm cranking on one reel and I'm turning on another. This is cool. I think one got off. No, he's on there still. I got, I got two at one time. He's on there still. There's one. There's the other one. Oh. Oh. And I lost two. Yeah. I lost two other ones, yeah. Is that a bat? Oh, it's a red. Wow, look at that. <sighs> Damn. This is too much fun. Yeah. Almost, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty. Wow. Two at one time. Yeah. Two at once. <laughs> 